Okay, for today's video, I'm going to take a shot at explaining kerf. I've had several people ask about it, uh, but recently viewer at TTG asked if I would do a video on it. So uh, thank you for the suggestion, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dave. So if you look off to the left, we have your material, and then we have your laser beam here. So if we remove that, then that space in here would be your curve. So we're going to say this sample kerf is 0.42 millimeters. I have a photo here somewhere too. So that's your kerf. So any material that is moved by a uh, cutting device, it can be a saw, it can be a laser, anything that cuts, if there's material that is removed, uh, that's the kerf. Well, Lightburn gives us the option to adjust for that but it's not always as cut and dried as it may seem uh, off to the right here for a straight path your kerf is is more consistent than it is on a curved path like if you're cutting puzzle pieces or something like that because your laser now remember you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel you can push down and move the entire canvas around it goes faster on the straightaways, uh, but then when it gets to a curve, it slows down. Even if it's a slight amount, it can make a difference uh, in, the, in the cut. So we're going to do a test. These lines are 25.4 inches. Uh, I'm sorry, 25.4 millimeters, which is one inch. They're both identical. One straight, one curved. We're going to see what the difference is. Now, there's also a difference in measurements between uh, cutting with the grain versus cutting against it. So, back to our 0.42 millimeters, uh, that would be the full width of your laser focal point or your laser spot, whatever you happen to call it. And on either side, you would have 0.21. So in a perfect world, you could find your cut layer right here. You could double click. And you could go to the kerf offset. And you could put 0.21. Click OK. And you would be good to go. Now let's look at that again. Note that it says outward. So for a representation of that, this box down here at the bottom, the inner blue line would be the 25.4 millimeters or one inch. And the outer red line would represent that 0.21 millimeters. So our uh, first test I've already got them set up over here. We're going to cut this uh, puzzle piece versus the uh, square and see what the difference is. And then we're going to cut four pieces, do the measurements, average them out, and get as close to the proper uh, curve as we can get. But sometimes uh, you'll find it easier just to, because you got to check between materials. Uh, all materials don't cut the same. Uh, basswood is really soft, so you'll have a larger or more pronounced curve with that than you would with uh, something harder. And what I've done in the past is, is try to keep track of how much material I'm losing. I would change it in the width. I would add to or take away, especially if I'm doing... Uh, slots and tabs then then I'll just just take away a little bit knowing uh, I needed it to, to make my tabs fit tighter but we're going to go through this and you can decide there certainly will be projects that you can just set your kerf 
uh, and then you can you can do your project. You just have to remember to go back and take the kerf out if you're going to uh, change to a different material the next time around. Okay, so let's uh, jump in the laser, do this first test. We'll measure it with a caliper and see how close we get. Okay, folks, I'll be right back. Okay, we're just going to let both of these cuts run, and then we will check the uh, square against the puzzle piece. And then we'll take the other four squares and do the average on those and see what our best curve is. Okay, a lot of smoke, but that's the price you pay when you leave the lid open to make a video. So I'll put a link for this caliper down in the description. I believe I picked it up off of Amazon. And it, it's not that expensive, but it's, it's handy. Let's see if we can get this piece out. Okay, so we would be measuring against the grain on these two. Be sure your caliper zeroed out. I guess this one's flashing because the battery's getting kind of weak. And hopefully that's in a good spot. So this should be something less than 25.4. And it is 25.2. It's floating back and forth a little bit, but 25.2. So the puzzle piece with the curved area should be a little larger than that 25.2. And it is, let's see if I can get it in the right spot, 25.34. So you get a little more on the curved side because the laser has to slow down so we're going to take these other four and i'm going to go against the grain and then with the grain because they are different slightly but they're still different and i will get those averaged out and we'll jump back in light burn and show you what i've done and we'll make that adjustment to the kerf offset Okay, folks, I will be right back. Okay, so we finished our cuts. And we made our measurements uh, exactly on the crosshairs that we uh, put in place. We went against the grain and with the grain. So for against the grain, for our first measurement, 25.1 we took that and we subtracted it from the 25.4 that we started with we done the same thing with the with the grain measurements and we done them four times we added those differences together we done an average of each by dividing by four then we added those together to get 0.61 and then we divided that by two to get a final kerf offset of 0.305. Seems a little large to me, but we're going to make the adjustment and see what happens. So that 0.305, let me get back to our original drawing over here. Our laser spot would be 0.305 on each side of the laser spot. So we're going to do one cut and see how close we can get to our original 25.4. But first, we're going to go in to the layer, just double click, go to the kerf offset, and put 0.305. Uh, after you figure out what yours is, don't put 305. Figure out what yours is and put that in there. And if you have any questions while you're doing it, just let me know. 
I know this is monotonous, but uh, it'll certainly help out in certain situations. You don't want to leave this set all the time. You do want to change it between materials and figure out what that kerf is for each specific material. Okay, we've got 0 .305 set. We click OK. And then we are going to just go cut that again. Let me find my camera. I lost it. And we will cut this and see what happens and measure it out. Okay, folks, uh, we'll jump back in the laser and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. We're going to cut this out and see how close we can get to our original 25.4. Hopefully this shows up good. So we'll go against the grain. 25.41. The other way. Twenty-five point four three. Okay, so it's a tad over our uh twenty-five point four, but uh I can play with it. A little more and then you can work with it and adjust yours and get a good feel by material of what that should be so hopefully this was helpful I know it's uh, it's a lot more complicated than people make it sound uh, sure it's the amount of material that gets removed if you do it this way you can at least get a good uh, estimation of what it is and then you can adjust from there so I hope this was helpful uh, if it was, please like and subscribe. It uh, it helps the channel grow. And uh, it keeps me in the shop making videos. And I want to thank uh, at TTG again for uh, requesting this video. And I encourage all of you to just, uh, if, if you have a, a topic in mind, let me know. And um, I'll uh, do my best to get to it. My shop time is getting more and more limited. But uh, I'll do my best to get it. So uh, just uh, check back often for new videos. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.